Hi, I'm G. And I'm Michelle. And we are the, the Band, Band Pickers. Pickers. How are you guys doing today? Good, good, good. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, so today we're going to kind of do something different. It's not really a haul video. Um, we are going to talk about bathing suits. Yeah, that's what we've been working on, bathing suits. Bathing suits. Normally we'd actually have them on before now, but we're a little behind. But we but, definitely want to have them on by the first. But first, so. we wanted to just say we hit a thousand subscribers. Yay! So that was so exciting, you guys. Thank you so much. Our kids, like our one son, he's like, can I check how many? Can I check how many? He was really excited. So, he and so were we. So thank you guys so much for... He's our IT guy and puts all this <laughs> stuff together for us. So. Right. So our 11 year old, yeah, he, he loves it. So he's really excited. We're all really excited. So thank you very much. And we also have other good news. We're going to have another baby. Yay. Yay. So that's number five. So we'll get a little more cramped in here. Yeah. <laughs> Try time, to keep... time to move. Time to, <laughs> time to move. move. Find a new bin to go to. So, <laughs> so that'll be, that's exciting. Yeah. And um, we had a hot date today. Yeah. We did. We went to lunch and in the grocery store. So that was kind of fun to get away for a little bit. Always fun. And not have to go to the bin. <laughs> okay. So I know. Right, he would have rather gone to the bin. Let's bathing get into suit. Our so bathing really suits. quick, what we've done in the last couple months, save up our bathing suits. So then we can just, you know, spend a couple days and just list them all out. And right yep. now for us, like January is the best time for yeah, bathing suits. Yeah, it's hard to get bathing suits now, going to a store or whatever. So people, you know, flying to California to go to Disneyland, they need a bathing suit, right? Right. Or if they're going to a hotel, I mean, inside hotel pools, you know, even though it's actually like overcast and kind of cold here in California. Sushi. Sushi. So this okay. is like a vintage swimsuit. Um, you know, it's nothing super great, but it has these bright colors. Yeah, and I usually price my bathing suits like between 10, normally between 10 and 15. You know, some of them, some of them can go up to 30, 20, 30 bucks. Tommy Bahama. Just Tommy Bahama. Nothing super great. And this is just some of them. We had tons and we have tons of like just tops, stuff like that. Yeah. That we that get we... them with the bras sometimes or sometimes we pick them up. This is J. Crew. Yeah, it's like these really cool, like called shattered, I guess, design with those neon colors. <clears throat> just Speedo. Now, we will usually get most Speedos. You have to make sure on bathing suits, you want to check the back side, like back here, because this is where it gets like really pilly and fuzzy. So, kind of steer clear, unless it's really good. I wouldn't get bathing suits that have those fuzzies on there. And also, you want to check the, you know, crotch area. <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure always check the crotch yes <laughs> so this dolphin. is just vintage dolphin but it's so cool like it has a really old tag i don't know if we can show this tag because it actually said shillington illinois or pennsylvania or something that it said on there i can't remember so it was kind of an older funky tag this is a vintage one too yeah it's probably 70s catalina like i swear my mom had something like this <laughs> You know, with like I this... don't want to envision your mom. And... Okay, well, back in the day, come on, <laughs> Catalina, you know, <clears throat> tribally kind of print. Here's another vintage. Oh yeah, vintage. This is this is kind of funky. Miss USA J C Penny. So it's like. And you said like J C Penny made the bathing suits for Miss USA. I in think 19... in 1985. 85. It said. So this is probably the style that they wore. They probably maybe all wore the same kind of style or, or something. Or maybe this was Miss USA. Who knows? Perhaps. So I actually put that one on really high. I put it on for 75 bucks because I couldn't find another one. Doesn't mean I'm going to sell it for that. Might sell it for 10 bucks. I don't know. Motherhood. It's brand new. This we actually just got out the Torrance dollar outlet. There yeah. it was hanging on the rack. So yeah. I have a dollar in it. What did you put that on for? I don't know. Like 20 bucks I think. Uh, BCBG. Just a ruffly kind of bathing suit. Cute. You know, most bathing suits, if they look nice, we'll, we'll usually get them because they're so light. Yeah, they don't weigh a lot. And, you know, yeah. Most bathing suits are worth 10 bucks. American most. Apparel, just like strapless, cut out on the sides. A lot of these American Apparel are actually better on Poshmark, but I didn't put them on there. I'm having a Poshmark strike and only listing on eBay right now. <laughs> This American Apparel. Yeah, so I, I don't know. Somebody made that on the front. I'm not sure. I couldn't find another one like it. It has stars on it, though. It's cute. 
So some of these really quick that are really low on the side. So apparently Kim Kardashian wore one of American these. Apparel. American Apparel. like plunge side um, thing. So if you can find that one. But well, check out this one. This is American Apparel Cali Sun and Fun. So yeah, Cali Sun and Fun. So if fun you were wearing sun, this. Wait a minute. It's Cali Sun and Fun. Yes, by see. American yeah, American Apparel. But, so that they don't uh, make it anymore. It wouldn't cover anything. I think it's more a bodysuit, but maybe a bathing suit. I don't know. I don't know. I put on really no, high, no. I couldn't find Brand another new. one. Brand new. I think I put it on for hundred bucks. Like that Cali Fun and Sun, there's like a following for that. So if you see American Apparel with that tag, people like it. This is kind of a vintage -y. Oh, it's just It's Cherokee. just Cherokee swimsuit, but it was new with tags. I yeah. mean... Yeah, it, we pick them up. If, yeah, it's a cute style. I think I put it out for $12.99. It looks like vintage with them. It does. It's probably a little bit older. This one's more vintage. Yeah, it's just Sunstreak, Sun Newport News, but it's a halter, has embroidery, underwire. You know, it's kind of like 90s probably. So we had this in a video before. This That's wild fox swimsuit, brand new. I got it at the bin. I sold on Macari for seventy-five bucks or fifty bucks or something like that. Mm -hmm. While well, the person returned it because they said the zipper was broken or something. Well, the it's zipper missing. Works a, fine, but it does have a. It's missing a tooth. Anyway, so they returned it. So I listed out on eBay and I told the flaw. So, but I still I think I put it on for thirty bucks. Speedo. speedo but it says like hydro bra on the inside yeah. again most speedos will pick up just watch the back side area bigger is better yes bigger speedo too. like if you can find 16 18 well, 20 any swimsuit so not just the true true most swimsuits most deep blue by oxygen this is a cute swim dress it's all one piece though yeah, new Italian. yeah it's kind of modesty looking it's modest not modesty modest so this is supposed to be like chlorine resistant, I guess. Aquabelle. Aquabelle swimsuits for all. Zip front. Really quick, talking about zip it front. Looks big. And it was a size 14. Um, the zip front, if you can find these vintage zip front ones that are like neon-y colors, those are still really good. So keep your eye out for those. This is pretty. 80s. This is, yeah, 80s Calvin Klein, sheer lace, like the middle's all sheer. Half the cups are sheer. Calvin Klein, this old and tag, made in the USA. Old. I think I put it on for like $30 or something like that. This was uh, Anita. Anita. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. But it's a mastectomy bathing suit. So those like, you can't just walk into a store and buy one of those. So those you want to keep your eye out for. You know, they have the slots in the cup, you know, for people that have had a mastectomy. So keep your eye. Nike? Just Nike. Most Nike is pretty good too. They're kind of like with Speedo that we get them if they look nice. Profile by Gotex. Just kind of ruffle. Um, this Gotex, some of the vintage stuff is actually pretty good. But we'll usually pull the, uh, pick up the Gotex ones. This is a Freya. Freya. Um, it's cute. Mm. It's just, um, and it's bra sized. I think this one is. It says B cup or something, right? Mm -hmm. Oh no, it says 34 double D. So sometimes when you see them too and they're bra sized, those do better. So this is Esther Williams. I guess she was like pin up that or something. It's cute. Yeah. So, but I couldn't find one with this tag. This I know they have a, like a newer tag. This is older though. So it's an older style. Um, but I put it on still high. It's made in Hong Kong. It's probably 90s. So. Yeah, because it has like that total pinup style. Mm. It's really cute. Now, we wouldn't usually oh, get Forever 21, for, but it's plus size. Yeah. So I, I will get Forever 21 if it's plus size. And it's cute. Yeah. And some of their bikinis that are plus size are really good. This is another. Just Avenue, plus size. Size 24. 24. It's cute. Like snake skin on top. This is go from big to plen sud sun. Yeah, this is teeny and like unlined, totally sheer. But there you go. I kind of put it on high. It's made in France. Where do you see a spot? No, I was just like I couldn't imagine. Yes, you, you can. See right 
<laughs> okay, so what's this one? I don't know. I don't know either. It's cute though. Oh, it's just La Blanca. Um, but it's a polka dot. Cute, yeah. you know. Just make sure you're looking over the bathing suits well if you get them, because sometimes the cups have disintegrated. You don't want that. Lands in. This is a pretty good size one. 22. 22. Yeah. It's, you know, like that faux wrap, floral. Land's End plus size, again, good. This one's... Whoa, this looks like the same one. Just a little bit smaller. But smaller size. Land's End again. Yep. So keep your eye out for suits, you know, and then we save them up. I mean, that's just what we do. It makes it easier. So then I can just sit down and bust them out yeah. at the same time. In January, we sell a bunch of them normally. We do. January, like right now, November, December is actually historically for us is our slowest time. So January through March is our busiest time. That's how it's been for the last 16 years we've been selling. Yeah. That's for us. Um, you know, I don't know other people, but selling used clothing, that's how, historically, yeah. that's what we And need. next, we're going to work on uh, exercise stuff because we want to have that out by January 1st right. as well. So we save that stuff up, send it out now. And we've always, always done that. And we've always done really good on that. You know, so, you know, all these people are like, oh, fourth quarter, this is such a busy month, December. You know, we've always been like sitting back. Well, we sell used clothes mostly and most people in December are thinking Christmas presents and things right. like that and it's usually not used clothes. So, I mean some people buy used clothes but we're not as busy. In this just, I'm just telling you this is what we have experienced over the years. Selling See time. we're getting busy now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we had We've had a lot of people, I, I talk a lot about jock straps. I like to get old jock straps. We've had a lot of questions about those and, um, you know, what do I look for, things like that. So I thought we'd do a little class on that. Not a that class. I'm, not that I'm an expert, but I actually... You have to dig to the bottom of the bins to find these things. I actually uh, picked up two really old ones last week last weekend and what you're looking for mainly in jock straps as you can see this made in the usa that means it's older okay now the older the better this one's in rough shape but we actually put this on and it's at 20 some dollars like already even though it's like stretched and old jock strap so what year is this? You think? I, I think it's probably like 70s. You think it's 70s? Mm -hmm. Early 70s. Late, late 60s, early 70s. Mm -hmm. But made in the USA. This is actually a good one, but it's in really bad shape. It's stretched, all that. But, but that you bike can see, logo. See the bike logo on there? You want to look for that. Made in the USA. And you know, people are going to look at you funny when you're pulling out stuff like that at the yeah. bin, but whatever. So like this is like a newer one. As you can see, it's and this one's made in Taiwan. It's yeah, this new. is a brand new. But this is not as old. Or made in China, something like that. Made in Taiwan, this is a little bit older. So you just, that's the difference. Like, you're not going to just go buy these. No. Don't just pull yeah. this out of the bin and get it. I mean, this is a brand new. I picked it up. I can sell it for a little bit, maybe. But normally, you want the made in the USA old. And they look old. They feel old. So... And that's what that's people what collect them because they're so, old. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can't get them. Yes. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> There's I our class on jobs. I don't know what they do with them. We, but, um, anyway, um, I think that's it. That's about it. Yes. Really quick. You know, we sell some high end. We sell some really low end stuff. Um, just want to say, you're going to get what you get at the bin. If you yeah. only have a list of this is the only thing I'm going to get then you're not going to get anything at the bin sometimes when you go. So that's when you right. got to like... And it's a long, tough drive for us to get there and get home. So if we drive there and don't get anything, it's a big waste of half a day. So right. we have to get something. Sometimes so, you have to get not that great of stuff. Yeah, that you're like, okay, can I sell this for eight, ten bucks? Okay, well, I got to get a couple of these right. things to make, you know, my t worth my time. No, obviously you want to get the $100, $200 items. And, and, and we do. That's what we try to... Uh, of course, but we, we can't just get those. I wish we could. So, yeah. So anyway, back on. Yeah, I think that's right. it. So that's about it.
Thanks for getting us to a thousand. Thank you guys so much. That's so awesome. Yeah. We're so thankful. You look beautiful today too. <laughs> Thank you. Know. Thank you. See, he should take me on dates more often. Maybe I can do my makeup and hair. <laughs> okay, anyway. That's it. That's it. Pick outside the box. And if you could like, comment, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Thank you.